Okay, in this next video, you're going to learn about the snap tool as well as something that's called cruising. Uh, cruising allows you to have an object adhere to another object. So uh, the snap tool very simply is clicking on the snap tool up at the top and then and then selecting two faces that you want to snap together. So for example, if I want this box on top of this cylinder, I click snap, pick this face, and pick this face. And just like that, the two objects are stuck together. Um, by default, they're grouped now. As you can see, when I hover over them, they both get highlighted. And that's because of this little tool off to the right that says grouping while snapping is on. If I were to click on this, I could actually turn that feature off, but by default, I just chose to leave that on. So when you connect two objects, they instantly become a group. The other thing to, to keep in mind is that anytime you bring in a new object, um, the snap property is sort of live, and this is, this is cruising. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to bring in a cylinder. When I bring that cylinder in, watch what happens when I bring it towards any other object in, on the platform. It's just, it's choosing to stick next to any item that I get close to. And that's called cruising. If you already have an object on the platform and then you, you still want to cruise, you, you can do, you can use the um, snap tool to do that. But it's, I've never gotten this to work successfully really well. But I think what happens is you, you click on snap, you click on the object. And then you hold your shift key down. Let's see if I can do it here. Okay, so in working it through, I was able to hold my shift key down while selecting that, that face, and then cruising turned on. But I, I couldn't, it took me a while. What you won't see in the video is that I've spent a, a minute or so trying to get that to work, and I've never really gotten that to work successfully. I think for me the easier part is just pulling a new primitive from our tool setup above and have the the cruising attribute already ready to go. Uh, but this is important to know if you have two existing objects that have been sort of modified and created and then now you're wanting them to stick together like this. Okay, and that is cruising.